would be wrong to think that the border is open. It is not open. And I just want to be very, very clear about that. Uh, fiscal year 2021, we all know, set the all-time record at our southern border with 1.7 million encounters with illegal immigrants. But so far this year, fiscal year 2022, it's already blowing those last year numbers completely out of the water. It would be wrong to think that the border is open. A number uh, for you at this time, what I can say is that we know smugglers uh, will try to spread misinformation to take advantage of these vulnerable uh, migrants. But I want to be very clear here. Uh, the fact is that the removal of Title 42 does not mean the border is open. Uh, anyone who suggests otherwise is simply doing the work of these smugglers who, again, are spreading misinformation. It would be wrong to think that the border is open. Part of a group of what ended up being over 380 migrants who crossed illegally this morning. Almost all of them single adults as usual. They turn themselves in because they feel like they're going to be released into the United States. And in most cases, that is what happens. 118,000 illegal crossings just since October 1st. would be wrong to think that the border is open. What's the plan after that to work with Congress to address this issue? Like beyond, yeah. beyond. Look, we have, I mean, Ed, we have from day one have asked Congress to help us with this issue. Right. By putting forward the immigration reform bill. That's on day one that the president uh, had requested that, had asked that. That's to deal with uh, modernizing uh, the immigration, this broken immigration system that we currently have, and also to really protect uh, our DACA recipients and do so much more. And so we have we have reached out. We've done outreach to Congress. We have asked them and by by acting again, putting forth uh, this uh, this uh, in this piece of legislation. Virtually no change in immigration policy with Democrats well, in charge. I mean, well, so how's I, it going to get any I, easier when Republicans well, I, are in charge? I, look, again, we are we've asked for the 3.5 billion. We're going to continue to ask Congress to to assist in helping with, especially congressional Republicans, uh, to help us with what's going at the at the border. If they if they are indeed serious about doing that, saying, well, the president has the ability to ask for an extension. He should be asking for an extension because we're at this point where you've got a deadline and a crisis. Is that within the president's authority to do that? So look, we remain we're, we remained under a court order to lift Title 42. That is Aren't a court order. That, that is a court order that is telling us to lift Title 42, and we're going to comply because we follow the rule of law. But the administration that is, sought to lift that it. That is, but it is a court order. But that is that started by you guys. It was a court order that has been provided to us, and so now we have to comply, and that is we have to comply by December 21st. It is it is a law so that is been don't support. support lifting what I'm saying is that I, what I'm saying that it is a court order that has been presented to us that we are going to comply with. The president uh, tasked the vice president with studying and working on the root causes of some of these issues. I'm wondering if there's any update from this side of the White House on what she's been doing and what she will continue to do as we're expecting an influx at the border. Well, after I, Wednesday. As you know, the president uh, appreciates the partnership that he has with the vice president. You're right. That has been her charge to uh, work in a diplomatic way on finding the root causes of, of, um, of migration. I uh, don't have anything to lay out specifically on what that work looks like. Uh, but again, we appreciate her partnership, uh, and uh, I would probably uh, refer you to her office on anything specific on the work that she's doing. Uh, but again, we are doing the work. The president has been doing the work at the border since day one. That he wants to see President Biden go to the border. Um, he said it doesn't have to be for a photo op, but a leader has to show images of being up there in front. So does the president have any plans to go to the border? Is now a good time to go? Like you said, I've addressed this before. Look, the president's focus right now is to come up with solutions. It's focused on making sure that we have the resources to manage what the challenges that we're seeing uh, at the border. And right now, we, as you know, we have a budget request in front of Congress. And again, if congressional Republicans are serious about dealing with the challenges that we're seeing at the border, uh, they will assist. So there was simply no better way to present that story than allowing the White House to speak for itself. If you've been following this story at all, obviously you know none of these dots connect, none of the stories align. And now it's appearing that is simply by design or confusion or simply having no sense of a plan 
whatsoever. If you haven't, by the way, yet subscribed to the channel, I certainly hope you'll take just a few seconds to do that very special request. I need you to make sure your bell is turned on, notifications are turned on, so many of you not even receiving when I put up a broadcast. So I have to ask this for many videos to come to make sure everybody can get back on the list and you can realize when the information I'm putting out is actually put out for you to view. Or simply go to restrictedrepublic.com, our platform, Created, no commercials, no interruptions, exclusive content. Lisa Haven and I broadcasting there continually. If you haven't gotten there yet, very special Christmas offer. Christmas 22, 14 days for free. Plus, wait for this, $3.99 a month for one year. I'll need you to get over there. We'd appreciate it. It's your means of supporting me. If you don't want to get there, then join as a member here on YouTube. Either way. We will continue to bring you the news that matters and put it in the simplest format possible. And lately, the simplest format is simply allowing them to talk for themselves. You can't believe the string of information that's coming out because they want you to forget all of this. They want you to forget the Biden administration gears up for the end of Trump era border restrictions. The decision now resides at the Supreme Court, but yet they're saying it's a congressional decision. And yet they're saying the president could do nothing about it. Well, do you know the reality? I hope you do now after I just showed it to you, because there are towns in trouble right now. El Paso mayor warns 20,000 illegal aliens waiting in Mexico to cross the border when Title 42 ends. Screaming from the rooftops, who's going there to help him? Nobody. He's going to be on his own, just like Arizona, just like other parts of Texas, everyone else facing a similar crisis. Migrants take over streets of El Paso where food banks are just days from running dry. Food's about to run out after evading cartels and border patrols and traffickers and everything else they have to deal with. Well, now there's no semblance of a plan to handle any of this. I wanted to show that to you. I didn't want you to forget, and I never want you to forget this part either. This is a momentous day. I, saw, I showed this to you in the video. For immigrant right activists and immigrants and refugees everywhere, Pramila Jayapal say, saying this, Title 42 was a cruel and discriminatory policy that circumvented U.S. law, preventing people from accessing protections established by Congress. Today is the product of years of advocacy from both inside and outside of Congress, but that's not what the White House press secretary said, now is it? We need Congress's help. Well, they told you what they wanted, which now you're declaring you don't want, you kind of want, it's not in your hands, and you really don't have any other plan. I'm thrilled to see the Biden administration do the right and moral thing by ending this extremely harmful, xenophobic, and short-sighted policy that disproportionately impacted black and brown migrants. My friends, the truth is always out there. Just read it and don't allow them to continue to rewrite history. If they said it, they said it. Stand by it or fix it. Change it or adjust it. Just stop lying to the American people and stand by the statements made. And if you want to make an adjustment, then make an adjustment. But quit trying to pull the wool over everyone's eyes because it's well past that now. Everyone sees through it and it's time for things to change. Because if not, we're going to continue to see tragedy at the border. And that no person deserves. I love you all. Until next time, Godspeed and God bless Justice Knight. Signing out.